Let me introduce uh, Felicia Joy, the head of Ms. CEO. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Felicia Joy, a serial entrepreneur, a voice for all small business owners, and through my company, Ms. CEO Media Incorporated, I am an advocate for women entrepreneurs. This is the first ever Women Entrepreneurs Day in Georgia, and it's overdue. So thank you to our elected officials, Senator Orrock and all the elected officials who've made this day a reality. There are a lot of reasons to recognize women business owners. I'll just share a few. Women-owned businesses in Georgia generate $30.2 billion in revenue annually. Nationally, women-owned businesses contribute nearly $3 trillion to the economy. In the book, Women Empowered, Inspiring Change in the Emerging World, former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright points out that women reinvest 90 percent, nine out of every ten dollars of their income and wealth into their families and communities. When you uplift women, you uplift a nation. While women have made tremendous strides at the helm of our own businesses, there is still a lot of work to be done. Now more than ever, as America strives to regain economic strength, it is critical that we take an all-hands-on-deck approach to business leadership. That includes making sure that everyone, particularly women who have the most room for growth and the most room for creating jobs, ensuring that we all have access to capital, policymakers, contracting opportunities, and the network of knowledge and influencers that can make a business boom. That's what today is about. It's about creating the visibility and having the conversations that can enable us to fulfill our full economic potential in Georgia through all businesses, especially women entrepreneurs. As Senator Orrock said, women continue to make on average 25% less than men for the same work. Though that statistic is about wages on jobs, it has an impact on women going into business for themselves. Why? Women-owned businesses are more often self-funded than male-owned ones. If we're making less on jobs and using our own money to fund our businesses, then we are starting out behind. Adds to that the fact that only about 3% of venture capital is invested in women-led enterprises, and you begin to see the domino effect. If women entrepreneurs in the United States started with the same capital as men entrepreneurs, we would add six million jobs to the economy within five years, two million of those in the first year alone. Women mean business and women's businesses create jobs. We are doing this already, but we can, we should, and we must do more. Today is about creating the right conditions. This is not about women versus men. This is about using every available resource and every possible strength to repower our state and national economies. Women entrepreneurs are a serious part of that equation, and today, Women Entrepreneurs Day in Georgia is a historic and shining opportunity to aim high. We are pleased to announce this day and we salute the nearly 200,000 women business owners across Georgia who get up every day, even during this slow economy, <laughs> to make a success of their businesses. All the while, in many cases, continuing to take care of children, families, and so many other responsibilities. It's Women's History Month, so let me take a moment to recognize one of the greatest women entrepreneurs of all time, Madam C.J. Walker. Madam C.J. Walker was the first self-made woman millionaire in America as a result of building a manufacturing and sales empire. She created and sold beauty products. It is a feat today for an entrepreneur to build a multi-million dollar business. So imagine the feat it was in the 1800s for Madam C.J. Walker, the daughter of former slaves and a widowed single working mother. She experienced tremendous tragedy and hardship in her life, but she still saw her vision through. What a meaningful legacy she left for all of us. We must be visionary political and business leaders. We must be bold. We must be resilient. And we must rise to the challenge with no excuses. That's why we have created Women Entrepreneurs Day in Georgia. And I thank you so much for being here today. I'd like to say a special thanks to Justin's Restaurant on Peachtree Road here in Atlanta for sponsoring our luncheon today. 
and greatest appreciation to Ina Salisbury of the Starfire Group. And last but absolutely not least, again, I want to thank, commend, and salute the women we are here to honor today. Some of them are standing here with me, Georgia's 200,000 women entrepreneurs. Uh, thank you very much, and I want to pr appreciate the work that uh, Felicia Joy has done to uh, make this day a reality. And we stand here as women legislators uh, linked with and committed to supporting women in the private sector at every level, and uh, so appreciate the fact that women have gathered here today to launch Women's Entrepreneur Day in Georgia. Uh, Women-owned firms are growing at a rate twice the national average and contribute $1.1 trillion dollars in revenues to the national economy, creating jobs for more than 7 million Americans. Uh, that's what happens when women take their savvy, can-do, uh, collaborative model of leadership and bring it into the private sector and launch a business. Jobs are created, and I would say family-friendly jobs are created when women are creating the jobs because we understand the multiple challenges and the importance of raising families and building workplaces that support healthy families, uh, that support productive people on the job and make it possible for women and men to, uh, to achieve what they say is one of their most desirable outcomes in a workplace, and that is to work in a workplace that makes it possible for them to balance the needs of their family with the needs of the job. And I say to you here today that when women launch businesses, women understand from their own personal experience how important it is to create a family-friendly workplace. And we are committed to uh, policies that uh, encourage and support that development here in the 21st century. It's way past time when uh, a majority of women are in the workplace when the numbers of women and very high percentage that are uh, in the workplace with uh, a child who is under a year of age. So women entrepreneurs bring uh, a new voice to policy making, uh, at policy making to reflect the real needs of the workplace and to reflect the need for jobs that are family friendly. That's the direction as a society in which we need to go. And as we see women coming into leadership in policy making positions, and many of us here today uh, are, are uh, very committed to being a strong voice for women as policymakers, and women coming into leading roles in the business sector, we see that as a win win for all Georgians in terms of jobs being created, value added, and having those jobs be family-friendly jobs. Uh, we couldn't be happier to have with us today the successful women that have gathered. This March is international, is women, March is Women's History Month, and March 8th is International Women's Day. It's a very appropriate time to be welcoming women entrepreneurs to the Capitol and also to be welcoming the Georgia Commission on Women to the Capitol today and also to be saluting one of our legislators, Senator Buckner, whose work uh, over the years to provide checkoff opportunities for Georgians to help fight breast cancer uh, with their contributions. That again, we will be acknowledging that, that uh, role that she has played and the results that we've gotten here in Georgia from taking the stand. And it's a great, wonderful living example of how women in policy make a difference. So we're so happy to stand here today linked arm in arm. Uh, we will go to the floor of the Senate uh, with that message and we will be looking forward to an annual Women's Entrepreneurs Day and supporting policies that encourage and support women in business. Thank you so much. <laughs>